In this video, we're going to go over the sports code matrix. So what is the matrix? The matrix takes your first level tags, your code buttons, and intersects them with your second level tags, your labels. So if I wanted to, for example, find the made threes from this Canterbury Rams position, I just have to find the code and intersect it with that label to bring up the video. Now the matrix is a great single game analysis tool and it helps you find those exact moments and then send them to organizers and sorters. But in this video, I just wanna go over some tips and tricks that you might not be aware of in the matrix. So the first is being that you can actually swap the axis. I always find it a lot easier to read the labels when they're on the Y axis rather than the X axis. The second tip is you can actually use your and find your flags from the matrix view. So if you had been flagging and you had accidentally deleted the playlist that you had sent those flags from, or they weren't sent to a playlist at all and you just need to identify those flags, they can actually be identified in the matrix at the very bottom. I can then send those to a sorter or an organizer. The second tip from a matrix is you can actually create custom Boolean cells. And what I mean by that is in the top left here is this plus icon. If I click this plus icon, I can select any of these label groups, select select inbounds, baseline out of bounds, select sideline out of bounds and go or, and then let's select for example made twos. So now at the very bottom here, I have every time there was a baseline or sideline out of bounds that resulted in a made two. And I can click that cell to watch that video. Now what's also nice is I can actually save these matrices and open it for another game. So if I want to say, for example, open up another game, open up my matrix, select the source as the current timeline, I can still have my custom Boolean um, cell here right at the bottom for me to watch for the next game. So I don't have to keep doing it over and over again. The last tip and trick I want to show you in the matrix is you can actually export these matrices into a CSV file, which can then be opened in Excel. So I can go with the matrix open, file, export, CSV file. And then I can go open the CSV file with Excel. So if someone is in your staff is far more comfortable using Excel or is a bit of a whiz using Excel, they can actually open the matrix in this format and then do a whole bunch of analysis that way. So hopefully those three tips and tricks helped you out going forward. If you have any questions, Please reach out and let me know.